All right, we got Isaac here. Isaac is like just so small. I feel like such a giant. <laughs> Can you please like stop being such a little guy? I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so we are going to grab some grass-fed beef. So this is Isaac's first time shopping full keto, right? So we're gonna show you guys, take you along on the journey and show you what to get on keto. There's like a lot of little questions that people have. So the first thing is meat quality. Cause like how many, how much meat have you been eating already? A lot. A way lot. Yeah. I, it, I was excited, then I was like, I've eaten way too many ribeyes. So. Yeah, so, okay, like, you're eating a lot of meat, right? Which is good. It has, like, B vitamins and all these um, nutrients that we need. But if you're eating sick animals, like cows that have been eating corn and candy for real, like, they're, fe they're now feeding cows candy to fatten them up um, and to save money. So these animals are sick and the butchers will tell you they just like, they'll just cut it out and just like throw it away and then like you eat the rest of that. You get it in your nice little package in the grocery store and you're like, that cow had cancer, you didn't even know, right? So, and then they have antibiotics and all those things. I think most people know that, right? So when you're eating keto and you're eating so many animals, like you really need to prioritize healthy animals. And the biggest thing is cause like you're eating, what kind of steak are you eating? Like ribeye, right? Yeah, so like some prime. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm shopping at Harmon's, so. Yeah, so he's, he's eating the good stuff. He's like, is Wagyu good? I'm like, yes, Wagyu is good, <laughs> right? But so you're eating fatty, fatty meat. And like in our bodies, we store toxins in our fat and so do animals. So think about that. If you're eating all this fatty meat, like you don't want to be eating a bunch of toxins, right? You don't want to be eating these like sick animals with like big toxin filled fat. You want to eat healthy ones. So we're going to grab some grass fed beef. All right, so produce. So super important to get organic produce because the stuff that's conventionally raised, there's like two problems with it. One is the soils are getting more and more depleted because like it's awesome that we can come in this grocery store and get all the food we want all the time, right? But because of that, like the demand is so high that the farmers can't keep up with like replenishing the soil enough. So like, like if you eat a conventionally raised carrot, it literally has way fewer nutrients in it than a carrot did like 60 years ago because the soil is depleted, right? So organic farmers like make a bigger priority to uh, replenish the soils. And then you're also not eating pesticides. So like when you're in a ketogenic state, it's, it's purifying, it's cleansing, you're healing your body, right? So you don't wanna be putting in pesticides and things that are gonna inflame it when you're trying to do something good for yourself. So organic, super important. So we're gonna grab some um, organic avocado. One, <laughs> two, let's just take the whole basket. <laughs> There's one, two, okay. We have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> 11, 12, 13, 14. For real, yes, I made his meal plan. 14. <laughs> these things will save your life in keto. And I really like these little small containers because then you don't have like the big container that like goes brown halfway through. It drives me freaking crazy. So I. Like I always have these in my fridge. So they have spicy ones now or like regular ones. So we're gonna definitely get some of these. Okay, so butter, right? Everybody knows that you should eat butter on keto. So I really like uh, Vital Farms butter. Uh, it's pasture raised. These are from healthy cows, right? That eat the right food and live lives like they're supposed to. It's kind of interesting. We were, Isaac and I were just talking about his daughter when she would eat like conventionally raised eggs, like from, you know, Walmart or something like that, she would have a reaction. But um, they gave her some eggs from Vital Farms. And if you follow like the Vital Farms Instagram account, like they'll go live sometimes and you can just see the chickens just roaming around, like how chickens are supposed to be instead of being in factory buildings with crap piled on top of each other and, you know, <laughs> walking around in their own feces. Like that's the eggs that you're getting at like Walmart. <laughs> So it's reality check, right? So it's very interesting. So she wasn't getting a reaction when she ate the healthier eggs. So kind of interesting. So I love, I love pasture raised um, butter from Vital Farms. And then let's talk about ghee for a second. So ghee, what ghee is, I'm surprised like so many people are like, well, I've never heard of that. So ghee, never heard of yeah, ghee. <laughs> never heard of ghee. So ghee is like taken one step further than butter. And so all the milk solids are out of it. So there's, it's actually non-dairy um, and like, Ayurveda, it's like an ancient um, health system. It's like the sister science to yoga, right? 
So in, in Ayurveda, ghee is like the healthiest oil you can have. And I love it. And it makes your vegetables taste so freaking good. So cook your vegetables like crazy and ghee. I use this every single day. So have you ever had like flax milk before? No. Okay. So I love using this to like mix into like a keto meal replacement or even in a cold brew coffee. I like to do like a cup or two of this and just a little bit of cold brew in it. It's so good and it's it's really low calorie. This is like 25 calories a cup, right? So it's um, really nice that way. It only has one gram of carbs. And I like flax milk because it has omega-3s in it. So like why not get your omega-3s for your brain health, fighting inflammation while you're getting your, your like keto meal replacement. So I love this stuff. All right, so hard boiled eggs, these are like the perfect snack on keto and they come with little salt packets, super easy. So we're gonna get some of these. All right, so let's talk about oils, so the best oils to get on keto. So avocado oil all the way. I like this from Primal Kitchen. It's a uh, first pressed, first cold pressed um, avocado oil. This is a good like multi-purpose oil because you can cook with it, you can do anything with it. So avocado oil is great. Um, then like these are really cool. They have, these are super, super catered to keto. So beef tallow and pork fat and duck fat. Thank you Epic for making these products because like I always heard that beef tallow was good, a good fat, you know, on keto, but I'm like, where are you, where are you gonna get beef tallow? So these are great. Any, any of these like animal based um, oils are really, really good. Um, and then coconut oil. So there's all these coconut oils. You wanna go for an organic, extra virgin coconut oil, right? So it's, it's really like you get what you pay for. If it costs more, that's a good sign, get it. <laughs> so mayonnaise, please, please make sure that you get a mayonnaise on keto that's avocado oil based. If you're not getting avocado oil, it's canola oil, soybean oil, which is like corrosive to your body, okay? So avocado oil based mayo. I love this Chipotle lime one from Primal Kitchen. They have a garlic aioli. I think I have every single kind. Yeah, it's so good. So get, get some avocado oil based mayo or you can make your own if you can't find it where you live. The 14 avocados we have. <laughs> Bone broth, super good for you. Um, it's like healing to your gut lining. So, um, and it also has electrolytes, minerals in it. So like if you do a fast, you could even do a bone broth fast because so you're getting these minerals and also some collagen in your gut to heal your gut. So it's really cool. So, um, and it also has protein in it, right? So I like um, Kettle and Fire is great. They have all these different bone broths. This one, we're like geeking out because this one has lion's mane, which is super cool. Um, I also, noticed that there are some new bone broths from Epic, which is pretty cool. They're in glass containers, I like that. So look for uh, grass-fed, small batch, um, paleo-friendly, like all these like higher quality bone broths. So I get asked all the time about protein bars on keto. Honestly, like I don't really recommend them. A lot of them have like a lot of fillers and crap in them. And I found for most people, it will kick them out of ketosis. Um, it could be just the excess protein. It could be the um, like uh, artificial sweeteners, but they're just usually not a go on keto, but there are like keto bars, stuff that's specifically for keto now. But like this, they don't have, I don't think they have them here. So like protein bars are kind of a no on, on ketosis, look for a keto specific bar if that's what you want. Okay, so electrolytes are so important on keto. You can get depleted really fast. The biggest thing is sodium, so just making sure you're having good quality salt. Um, but I also like to add like an electrolyte supplement to water. Plus, I admit, I don't really like drinking water that much. So if I can add some flavor and make it good, I'll drink it and then I get my electrolytes in one. So I like this Ultima Replenisher, it's a really good one. Um, and then there's another one on Amazon called Centerplex I really like, so electrolytes. Protein powder, I get asked about this all the time. Make sure that if you're gonna do protein powder, one, like you gotta test your ketones. So if you go super high on protein and you're not getting into ketosis, like probably that's the first step to like back that down a little bit. I think he's gonna be fine. He obviously has like a lot of muscle and a lot of like body to support, right? So we are doing protein powder with him. I like ones that are grass fed and super clean and don't have a bunch of fillers and crap. And um, this one has like, four grams of net carbs per serving. So if you're gonna do protein, just make sure you're testing your ketones to see if it's you're actually still staying in ketosis. But I would say for most people, like especially women, you probably don't even need it. For Isaac, I he, need, I need he needs it. <laughs>